Okay, this case was sent in to me by a dentist who is having a couple issues with the uh, milled abutments on tooth number 7 and tooth number 10. Uh, you can see from the doc bar it's a nice cosmetic case from 5 to 12 uh, with a combination of uh, partial coverages, uh, crowns, and implants. So a very uh, nice case and a very technically demanding case, especially when you're throwing in uh, custom abutments that are milled. Uh, this case was uh, very nicely executed in design in the in the sense that he did a diagnostic wax up, uh, did biocopy, and then went ahead and designed this case uh, based on that. So if we go back and look at the scans, you can see exactly what was done here as far as images. You can see that the, the biocopy or the wax up has nicely overlaid that preparation model. You can see the two scan bodies here on the lateral incisors. And then he also, he didn't take a lower jaw or a buckle bite, but he took a gingiva mask to record the tissue. Okay, so there's a gingiva mask here. The only uh, thing that I would do different here is I tend to take the gingiva mask without the scan bodies in. It looked as if he copied and pasted the upper jaw into the gingiva mask. And with posteriors, you can get away with this a little bit more than anteriors because a lot of times the, the posterior gingiva is, is much more outside the level of the scan body. Here on the anterior with the scan body in, it's much, much more difficult to see the outline of the actual uh, uh, crest of the tissue. So I would have taken the scan bodies out. Uh, but nonetheless, executed very nicely here, upper jaw, gingiva mask, biocopy. So let's go back to the design and uh, let's click on tooth number 10. Now when you see 10-10, that means that the file has already been split into an abutment and a crown. Okay, so let's go ahead and click on tooth number 10 and activate it. So when I do that and I drop my cursor down, you'll see I have both the overlay, the veneering structure, and the abutment. So the veneering structure is what I have in place here. If I go ahead, I can certainly turn on my gingiva so you can see where that proposal is in relation to the gingiva. Uh, looks very nice. And uh, let's go ahead and click on the actual abutment. Now here is where we have a pretty significant issue and why the dentist wanted to have me take a look at it. So you can see that we're having some minimal thickness issues. We also see that we have the titanium base uh, sticking out the back of that custom abutment. And uh, let's go ahead and turn off the minimal thickness just to take a look here. Okay, so what I can tell you is, is even though the implant was placed very, very nicely, uh, when you're doing custom abutments and angled custom abutments in the anterior, sometimes you're going to run into scenarios where this happens, where the, the implant, the, the path of the, the implant is, if you, we look at this side view, is in a position where trying to position that underneath a biocopy or wax up is going to get a little difficult. So what I can tell you right off the bat here, it's still nice to design in, in the multi-layer uh, uh, form here where you design the full contour and reduce it, but you're never going to be able to use this, uh, this biocopy. You're going to end up having to rescan the abutment. So the reason is, is I'm going to redesign this abutment a little bit nicer here and, and correct a couple of the issues, but no matter what I do, this titanium base is probably going to be perforating the backside of this abutment. So what you're going to actually have to do is take a burr to this, uh, and, and when you put the abutment and the titanium base together, you're going to have to grind off this, smooth it up, you know, fill it with composite, and rescan it to make a new crown over the top. Uh, not terribly difficult. We still have a nice custom abutment, just an extra step. So knowing that, let's go ahead and start by unsplitting the restoration. Okay, so now we've got our proposal the way it was designed. We're going to go back to the model step and I'm going to go ahead and see, look at what he did here. So if you watch the video how to design when the titanium base is above the level of the tissue, this is what he did. So you review that video and you'll understand this. I'm going to actually do it a little differently. So I'm going to go ahead and reset this and I'm going to click on the scan body head with the gingiva mask. So we'll go ahead, double click on this, and we're going to get a margin thrown up here. It doesn't propose it very, very nicely because in 4.0, this just doesn't work that great when you have the gingiva mask taken with a scan body in. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to quickly just redraw this line 
as close to that titanium, or excuse me, as close to that scan body as I possibly can, because I can just barely make out the crest of that gingiva. And this is just going to demarcate my split line in relation to that crest of the tissue. So it's going to get me close. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is define restoration access. Okay, now the really nice thing that we've got going for us here is um, now what better way to position the angulation of that custom abutment than the biocopy. So you can see the biocopy for the other teeth over the top there or the restorations. So let's just go to display options, put up our upper biocopy, and we can see tooth number 10 right there. So obviously if I have my custom abutment way back at the pad, this, this is preset to the long axis of the implant. So you can see the long axis of the implant does not uh, relate to where we want that, uh, that uh, final crown to be. So let's just go ahead and we can tweak this up to 20 degrees. If I go too far, see what happens. I'm just going to angle it enough where I get this in a little bit better position to go ahead and um, get that final crown where it needs to be. So once I do that, we're going to hit OK. The copy line, we'll go ahead and draw the copy line in, in, in the position it needs to be to copy that wax up, and then we'll move forward to the design step. Now before the design step comes up, obviously we have our parameters here. Uh, just go ahead and set these as you normally would. I'm just going to switch a shoulder width. I know if that tissue is going to be thin there, we're going to need this pretty narrow. Uh, we always can change it if necessary. So we'll go ahead and get our proposal. Okay, so here's my initial proposal. I see I've got some, some pretty big uh, minimal thicknesses area uh, problems down here. The wax up was much more buckled, so I'm going to need to have to make a transition up here to get that correct. Okay, same thing back here. It's a little bit of a bad proposal. So, you know, simply just with, I would probably start with my smooth tool and start smoothing this down and getting this a little bit better. And then we'll go in with our shape tool. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so here's the final design of the, of the, of the full contour tooth before the split. Uh, I didn't show the whole thing. It, it took actually quite some time, but basically I'm just using the two-dimensional shape tool and the form tool. Uh, you can see here, let me go ahead and turn and trim the model. You can see what I did here is, is I basically formed a nice flowing uh, emergence through most of it. I've got a little minimal thickness issue down here, not too much. I can already see my titanium bases coming out, but that's just the, the, the nature of, of how this tooth is going to be. Uh, but I've got the crown design roughly where I need it to be. I don't need to be overly exact here because, again, we're not going to be milling uh, the final restoration off this design. So I'll put that back on. Let's go ahead and take a look uh, next at the, the tissue. So we put the upper tissue on. Again, you know, this isn't perfectly flush down here, but we're only working for the actual custom abutment. We don't really care about the final crown at this point. So again, let's go ahead and check the upper biocopy. We're pretty close to where we need to be. I overdid it just a little bit, but overall, if we put the restoration transparent, you can see overall we're pretty darn close to where that biocopy uh, was going to be. So next step we're going to do, we're going to right click on this and we're going to split the file into the custom abutment. Okay, so here is my custom abutment, uh, and then you can start adjusting this. If I put on my upper gingiva, again, you can see that that scan body comes through, which is too uh, not really what I want. But let's go ahead and use the scale tool, and I'm not going to. I'm going to use a scale occlusal, not scale hole, like we talked about in other videos. We're going to scale that margin underneath the gum a little bit. Let's get that uh, upper gingiva transparent, so. We can see where this margin's at. We can mess around with these. And we always can reprep it once we mill it because, again, we're going to be rescanning this. And that's why we don't pay overly too much attention to the margin placement. If I turn my minimal thickness on, we do have a little bit of a minimal thickness issue here, uh, but certainly not as much as we once did. So I'm not going to be overly concerned about it right now. Uh, let's go ahead to the mill preview. 
and I would certainly attempt to mill this out. You know, there's there's some tweaks you could do uh, to make it a little bit easier, but um, and you also may have a little bit of an issue here. I would have to mill it to see if it perfed this wall or not. We're definitely going to have the titanium base sticking through this back side, so uh, that will definitely need to be corrected as well. So hopefully this helps uh, a rough idea on how to handle a case like this. Basically, it's going to take a little design work here, but you're also going to have the titanium base sticking out the back side of this abutment. You're going to have to take a burr, mill it flat, go ahead and put that back on the model and re-image for the final crown.